Holly Walker. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Tēnā koutou, te whare. Margaret Mahi once told a group of children that, when she was young, she loved stories so much that she felt compelled to start writing so that she could squeeze herself right into the stories. She wrote her first at age seven, and that was followed by at least 300 more. In that process, she squeezed generations of us into her stories too. Her characters are part of our collective memory, and they help us to tell our stories. Many of us grew up with her characters, like the lion in the meadow, the nutty Mr McPhee, the man whose mother was a pirate, and we loved her magical use of language, like the great piratical rumbustification. Margaret Mahi died on Monday after a brief battle with cancer, and our thoughts are with her family and friends at this hard time. But she will live on in her stories. We will read them to our children, and they will read them to theirs, and that is a pretty wonderful legacy. Her rhythm, rhyme, and rich use of language left generations of children spellbound, especially those who were lucky enough to attend her infamous readings, where she'd surprise her young audience by turning up as a witch or another character, or by simply wearing one of her multicoloured storytelling wigs. She was the founding patron and supporter of Storylines Literature Trust, who worked to foster in young people a love of story and recognition of the power of language. Through her many educational readers, novels, picture books, poetry, short stories, and screenwriting, she created an unequaled body of award-winning work which touched the hearts and minds of literally millions of children worldwide. We honoured her with New Zealand's highest award, the Order of Merit, and in 2006, she was given the world's most prestigious prize for children's writers, the Hans Christian Andersen Medal. She also twice won the prestigious Carnegie Award and received several honorary doctorates. According to the Storylines Trust, Margaret Mahi's contribution to New Zealand and world literature has been immeasurable on a par with that of Catherine Mansfield and Janet Frame. Margaret Mahi was a true New Zealand icon, an inspiration and a flag bearer for our creative community. She once said, it's in the nature of books that they have the capacity to make you feel powerful about what you can alter and achieve in your life. I thank her for that wisdom, and with such words, she will continue to make her mark on our lives long after she has gone. Kia Margaret Mahi, e moi koe ki te poi wainga i te tini. E moi, e moi. Rātou ki a rātou, tātou te hunga ora, tēnā koutou katoa. Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. On behalf of New Zealand First,